Hello and welcome to your weekend reading. Hope you had a great week. Now let's go ahead and see what messages there are for you for the weekend. What messages are there for the weekend? Okay, first up we have Blossoming Abundance. Now this is telling me that some of you are coming into a financial windfall. Extra hours at work. It could be somebody giving you something that they no longer need. But it's going to be valuable to you. Okay, this is about growth, development and improvement in some area of your life. Could even be love. So let's have a look what's next. Envy. Okay, envy is the element of jealousy. Okay, possibly somebody around you is keeping their eye on you, maybe on social media, online, or even in person because they don't want to lose you. When somebody is jealous, it's really about them, you know, loving you to the point of not wanting to let you go. And when they don't want to let you go to the point of jealousy, it's it's kind of like they can't control their feelings for you. So that is why this is showing up financial constraints. Okay, it could be that you've been through a period of difficulty recently. It could be financial, could be to do with work. It could be also to do with life in general, feeling left out, feeling like you just really want to move forward in life. A blossoming abundance is a promise of improvement in case somebody around you is um, probably feeling a bit out of control with how they feel about you. Okay, and financial constraints that you're coming out of a phase of difficulty. So let's have a look at what the Gypsy Oracle will have for you for the weekend. Now, uh, those of you who have been reaching out in regards to a personal reading with me, um, I am opening up shop this weekend and taking bookings for the week ahead. So you can check out my website. It's in the description box below if you are interested. Joyfulness, this is a period of happiness, going out, enjoying yourself, <clears throat> having fun with a social network. It could also be just a feeling of happiness. Okay, it's right next to blossoming abundance and with envy. So it's with somebody who has strong, intense feelings for you, as well as a really good period of time. Okay, now prison with financial constraints and this envy card is giving me a vibe of this has turned into something of challenge okay um, the situation of you know having a great time with somebody who's quite intense around you um, and then it turning into a, a, a energy of I just don't know what to do because I'm feeling challenged okay with prison it's saying that I feel stuck Let's have a look what the connector card is. Melancholy. So it could be that the person around you who's feeling a bit jealous and, and not really wanting to share you too much. Um, maybe they're extra emotional right now. This could also be you for some of you. Melancholy is the energy of I'm feeling really down at the moment. I'm feeling quite sad and left out. Peacock with haughtiness and frivolity and then i'll take one more we have reunion so it's really about this person wants to come back that's why they're going through this so it, it's a period of happiness and then suddenly they d display some out of control intense intense feelings towards you and you may be like hang on a minute back up because I'm not sure if this is how I feel or this is what I want or I really need time to think about this and then with um, financial constraints and um, prison it's saying that your person may have felt left out you have maybe just been going through some challenging emotions and feelings in regards to this or maybe even financial difficulties it was a really fun time while it lasted but now this person is feeling really intensely down and sad um, feeling like it was all for nothing frivolity feeling quite vulnerable and now they want to come back okay that's pretty much what this is saying so let's have a look at what 
they just have this is a mixture of uh, the Lenormand and Fin de Seco Kippa. I don't know, I just felt like mixing them one day and I really like the vibe, so I've been using them like this lately. All right, so we have okay, official person. This is about somebody that wants to do things by the book. They may be in law enforcement, they may even be in military, or somebody that wears a uniform that likes to do things straight and narrow. Okay, they don't like to be um, too distracted and unfocused. Okay, they like the energy to be straight, they don't like any detours. And this person is thinking of you quite intensely in secret well um i think another sign had similar cards okay they're considering a fresh start a new beginning and this is something that they may write to you saying i really want a fresh start online okay they feel that this is a very strong spiritual connection it's more to this than meets the eye um, they may even say they feel like you're a soulmate it's an intense vibe that's the vibe that I got from Envy it's like I don't want to let you go it's like this really crazy intense feeling that came through and again remember how I said they may be looking you up that's the fox it could also be a work colleague this person may be someone that works with water like um, marine life or they may work with you know as a lifeguard or something to do with water like with the um, official person card they may even be in the marines or the navy or something along those lines or, or a fisher person okay or someone that lives near the water along the coast or something along those lines okay because the anchor has a heavy water vibe now if the fish comes out it's definitely someone who works near water this is someone who works and this is um, online communication very strong spiritual vibe very loyal and tenacious towards you this person is someone that you can trust and they really want to talk about it this birds card is literally the voice so it's like they might write to you and then they're going to eventually graduate to phone calls or in person um, because they really want to talk to you okay now for some of you i'm getting a vibe of two separate energies a friend um, who may be this strong intense vibe and they may admit their love for you alternatively it could be a friend who's platonic that you're talking to about this connection with this intense person and you're not quite sure what to do and you're asking for guidance from from your friend however more than anything i feel that this is a platonic friend who's got strong feelings for you and they coming out saying actually i think this is more than friendship this is a, a meeting to talk about it and uh, revealing human feelings wow okay so this person is going to reveal their secret feelings for you all right so let's have a look at what the tarot have for you i'm going to tell you something that you know and something that is going to be revealed to you during the weekend something that you know is tower things that need to change something that you don't know is that your angels and spirit guides have been telling you this all along about your friends so your inner knowing already knew this um, ha however things are going to change one way or the, the other the universe is going to take over with that it's about moving on um, from an ending and turning over a new leaf graduating moving up and feeling very excited about it at first you didn't want it five of pentacles financial constraints difficulties being left out and challenged could be a water sign a female around you that is quite social wants to get out there wants to explore life and enjoy herself she could be an outgoing friend around you now if you're the feminine this could be you really just going out for drinks really having a great time um and ten of pentacles means finances come in celebrating this could be a pisces around you could be this feminine is a pisces the moon is a secret um oh two queens i feel they're friends um but for some of you if you're the masculine it could be a love decider um if you're the feminine this could be you hanging out with the 
a group of friends, okay, talking about the imbalance, okay, and an offer being given by somebody who is dealing with possible depression or sadness, anxiety, um, and they feel that you are their person and they want you to make a decision. They want to be your choice in love. They're very loyal to you. It could be a Leo or a Gemini, a Cancer sign as well, Aries or Scorpio. Now, they want you to make a decision and you're trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. All right, I'll get some more cards. And you just need some time out to think about this person and what you really want to do because they're coming across as very intense. So it looks like your best bet is to take some time out to really think about what your, what your next move, uh, move is and which direction you want to go. All right, <laughs> let me know how close this is to your situation. You can always comment below, is this your story? Now, a lot of you won't get um, your story in the whole reading, but there will be tidbits of information that give you some assistance from your angels and guides. They always tend to speak through me in my readings, so I'm sure there is something for all of you in my reading. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like, help my channel to grow by subscribing. I appreciate that so much. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.